Hey guys, Cleet here. So with 8.3 kind of around the corner in one or two months, and with people coming back either for the patch, or you're just looking for a new place to raid with, let's go over some of the current ways that you can get into a guild. I know this has kind of slightly changed from you know what it might have been in the past, whether you're coming back from previous expansions or even current expansions themselves, right? Because right now, if you look at Trade Chat, there basically is no more guild recruitment being done through Trade Chat, at least not on my server, Tychondriots. It's literally just boosting services for either mythic carries, raid carries, PvP carries, right? Now that Blizzard has basically come out and officially kind of said that it's okay for you to be boosting all those services as long as it's using in-game gold. It's just kind of rampant, right? Even I'm doing mythic plus carries. So as far as for using Chat Chat for guild recruitment, it really doesn't exist anymore. So what are the ways that you can do it, right? So one, in-game, there is still a way, even though Chat Chat doesn't work that well, there is now this thing called Guild Finder, which was a thing in the past, but Blizzard has recently updated this a couple months ago. You can use this to search any guilds you want that are currently in the game, though they do have to opt into this service. So if they're not currently like recruiting using this, I don't think they show up. So if you're interested in raiding, PvP, roleplaying, dungeons, and social leveling, guild sizes, you can do tank, healer, and DPS. So if you just put raid in there any size, you can search it. It does seem like it kind of works similarly to like the WoW progress search where the guild can actually pick, like for example, they can put they want warriors. So if you're searching on your warrior and then maybe that'll show up. Obviously, I don't have a guild, so I don't know all the implications here. And this is kind of recent and I've actually never used this version of this, but it's something in the game. Now, this is definitely, I think, the least barrier to entry of all the other things we're going to talk about today, right? All you do is request to join and then i guess whoever is the officers or guild leaders in that guild will be able to accept or decline your request to join right now this isn't like as fast as it was in the past because generally in the past when you did trade chat recruitment the officers online but you might have to wait a little bit for this um this is very similar i think to a lot of other games like i think maple story has systems like this where you just look up for guilds search them find them click request to join and then it's good to go. But yeah, so obviously when you join, it goes like this. Just pay attention to what the descriptions are, right? Make sure you can make the raid times and all that stuff. Yeah, that should help you in the game. Now, as far as for outside of the game, uh, one of the first things I think we need to talk about is in regards to like any type of content in games like this is if you have friends, that's obviously the easiest route, right? If you have friends that are in guilds, obviously you can join their guild or if they have recommendations, right? If you've raided with people in the past who are in their guilds that you currently are at, that obviously helps too, right? Friends recommendations, I think even outside of WoW, that can help you get to other places. And I think the stuff that we're gonna get into right now is basically like that, right? All the stuff that, it's kind of more like an application and it's kind of more like a guild style from this point onward. So the other thing that's kind of been a staple in WoW is of course using the WoW guild recruitment forums. If you don't wanna see the Oceanic guilds, uh, go ahead and click on that. And then, each post is just basically a different guild recruiting for their own stuff, right? So you can kind of see their guild names. Everybody, I think, does a good job of saying what their progression is. You can see all these seven out of guilds recruiting. So for those of you guys that are still trying to get your cutting edge before the patch is over, right? You can check out some of these seven out of eight guilds. Uh, obviously, you can see all their raid times. You can hover over them. And then if you're interested more, you can, of course, click on them. And I think some people like this guild right here. This is the same guy. There are actually a lot of guilds where they have like multiple raid teams. So pay attention to that and making sure that you're applying to the right raid team for that. So for example, let's click on this one, I guess. Um, you can see more about their stuff. Outside of like the first initial post, you don't have to read more. I think a lot of people now use Discord for their guild applications. Uh, the guilds might still have a website. Like our guild still has a website to submit an application. And of course, you can always have everybody's Bnet tag for you to message them. Now, don't spam them for like non-necessary stuff. You know, if you applied and you haven't heard back for a week or two, I think that's okay. Unless they have a system where they decline and it somehow doesn't tell you. But outside of that, you don't have to scroll down. This is literally just bumping. I'm not really sure what Blizzard's opinion is on this because you're technically not supposed to bump forum posts, but everybody does and they don't really care, it seems. So only the initial post really matters there. So that should kind of help you at least the stuff that you're seeing on this first page of recruitment, I think it's more urgent, right? Like you know, okay, if they bumped it two minutes ago, right, they're obviously still recruiting, right? So that's something that to pay attention to here is that once you go down a few pages, eh, it gets kind of iffy, right? So next we have random sources. Like there's this WoW Guild subreddit. It's okay. I mean, 
I don't think it's as crazy. It just takes so much longer, right? Like, think how long it takes to scroll through this. There's also less people just on the subreddit as a whole. You see all these things with no comments and stuff. So, yeah, if you don't find stuff you hear, you can look in the Reddit stuff. Um, you know, that kind of works. There's also these discords like this discord where it's a wild discord. I'm sure there are other wild discords out there for recruitment purposes. So if you just Google like wow recruitment discords, you'll find stuff like this. I think this is the highest thing that pops up on Google search. And I would rank the wow discord probably in between like the wow forums and like Reddit. It's better than Reddit for sure. There's way more active people on there, but I do think the actual wow recruitment forum is probably better. Now that basically takes you all the way up from you know, either LFR rating, if you join a guild for LFR, sure, you can do that. Normal rating, heroic rating, Mythic Plus, PvP guilds, right? All of that gets covered in kind of what we just kind of talk about. Now, if you want to get into Mythic rating, especially like actual cutting edge Mythic rating, probably still one of the better sites you want to get familiar with is WoW Progress. Now, WoW Progress is basically the ranking you know they call themselves number one wild rankings website it still kind of is as for rating i mean mythic plus i think raider.io probably does a better job now and i'm pretty sure they'll probably get more traffic the ui looks way more modern but for rating purposes uh wild progress is still used by i think most of the guilds mainly because for example you can see like the recruitment stuff right um you can of course see the rankings of the guilds the reason why i talk about higher end is because when you're browsing through guilds generally this website just ranks them on who kills the bosses the fastest right so one thing you can do right if you're currently already let's say in top 10 guilds in your region or maybe top 20 top 50 maybe even and you want to try to look for a better guild right this is how you go through it right you would just click through each individual guild let's say for example just make sure we click, click on an english guild that speaks english let's say you want to join scrub busters right so you can kind of scroll down here see like all their achievements for the current raid you can always go to past raids uh, you can see when they killed it and then down here is the important part right stuff in here is like the recruitment stuff some of these higher guilds don't have like an active recruitment as much or they just put recruiting for all classes but let's say do i think method probably just does all our classes yeah they just do all classes so whenever you search for them this all classes thing is very similar to what we just looked at in the wow ui right where you can look up log on to your character and look for guilds that specifically want, let's say warriors or whatever class you're playing. But basically I think if you're not currently in like a top top guild, I think don't even bother applying for those. But let's say for example, you're currently eight out of eight and maybe you wanna go even harder, right? You can of course come down here, click on that guilds tab, you can search for guilds. So for example, you search for our guild, it'll show up right there, you click on go, and then it'll take you to our guild page. You can kind of see all the stuff and you can actually like for guilds like us which we're actually recruiting for something like this is going to be more updated and i think for mythic guilds generally they tend to make sure that the wow prog is updated the wow forums is updated they use that but i think those are the really two places and this is probably the best because it gives you more information that you might need right monday to thursdays when we rain those are our times don't require alts but if you want one you can have a split and then, you know, if you have any questions, of course, and then this is what we're looking for. One to two range DPS, right? And then, of course, also all this stuff is that US top 50 guilds or if you have really good logs. And we'll get to that in a second. And then you can kind of see like everybody that like joined and left the guild, people that are in the guild and stuff like that. So as far as for where to browse guilds, those are all the things. And then if you're using things like WoW recruitment forums, where let's say they just posted somebody as Bnet, you just whisper them, talk to them. Great. Same with Reddit, you can message people on Reddit, same with Discord, message them on Discord, super easy. You know, if you don't have a super like long app process, you can probably just talk to somebody and join, right? Same with the guild thing, right? If you join one of the guilds that are right here, sure there isn't an application process for one of these guilds, because I'm sure you just chat with somebody or you request to join, they accept you probably. Now, as far as for stuff like WoW Progress, when you get into the higher, you know, mythic guilds where you have to actually do an application, there are two stuff that you have to get more familiar with, right? There's Warcraft Logs, and then there is the WoW Armory. Um, it's Armory first, because it's super easy. You just go on the normal worldwarcraft.com website, click on the little search bar, type your character's name in there, and it's not going to work perfect. I think the armor is down at the moment because I actually have the link for my character and uh, it's not going to go there. So when it does work, it will show your characters page. And uh, this is the link that you're going to have to probably put into applications, right? 
it's basically just a way to look at your character whether it's looking at your achievements whatever it is it still shows your current gear that you're wearing bosses that you killed for all the tiers and yeah so when that works it'll probably work when you watch this video and you look at the armory stuff but just not uh, it's down right now the other thing is workout logs this is i mean this is crazy right think of like applying to any job you have right basically your achievements your boss kills that you can basically gleam from your wild armor page if it was working would be like your resume now this warcraft logs would be if somehow while you were working there was a camera or there were performance reports that you know year reviews that got actually sent to your next employer right that's actually huge like that doesn't currently exist in the real world right your employer reviews don't get sent to your next employer this is crazy right to be able to apply something and go hey you know you can look at my character right logs of me doing the fights are on here you can come here you can look at everything that i've done and basically see how i perform not only that but like you can go into like an individual person's thing you can click on their dps and you can actually see every single button press i did you can see exactly where my character was standing at any moment in time right uh this is huge and it's crazy important when you apply into a guild and application process you need to have a log at least of one kill for every fight now generally people are going to be logging there's going to be somebody in the array that's logging but if not, you're probably gonna have to log yourself. And if you need help with that, there's stuff on this website. I don't know exactly where it is, but they, there's a tutorial if you kind of search around this website where they basically help you learn how to do it. I think if you sign up or something, there's probably links in how to do that. So yeah, definitely make sure you have a workout logs ready. Make sure you actually know what WoW Armory is because it's a bit embarrassing if you're applying to like a mythic guild and you don't know what that is. But yeah, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys that might have questions on how to find a guild. Those are currently the ways that I know. If you guys have any other places that you guys go to look for guilds and stuff like that, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for checking out the video. Feel free to subscribe to see more. See ya.